what exactly did Mani Ratnam want to portray in the film? See, basically it's a love story. That's predominantly what runs through the film. And um, to highlight the fact that there is a, there is a possible harmony between communities, we put this love story against the backdrop of the riots, which has been uh, emotionally very troubling to most of us. Even though we were not in Bombay, sitting out here in Madras, we, we felt the impact of the riots in Bombay. So that was, that was something which we wanted to highlight. But um, going into the riots and showing uh, just the riots or what happened, who did what and all that becomes a documentary kind of uh, um, statement. The idea was just that we wanted to show that it is possible for communities to live together. Having lived together for so many years, some, some incident, some isolated incident has caused uh, friction amongst them. That was basically the germ of the story. I've, I've noticed this trend, I don't know if you've noticed it. I mean, 1942 went through a controversy, but I didn't see much of violence in it. Same here. Is this some kind of a trend that's coming on? I mean, with the I communal uh, violence background and love story in it, is it? Is it I hope not, because uh, we can't keep showing films which uh, the hero and the heroine are running around trees and so on. Fine, that is, that is necessary at one level, but but we need to get out of this, get into something slightly more serious and, um, and communicate a positive message across. So I, I hope that though we've gone through this, uh, the next film which come out in this, um, on this canvas are probably going to have it easier getting through. See, as long as you're not trying to um, motivate one one faction or the other into or inciting them i think if you just get across a problem and if you communicate it honestly i think you will definitely be able to reach the audience um, in a much more effective manner than providing pure entertainment i'm not saying entertainment is not required i think you need both so where did you face the maximum problems with the sensors i think, I think it was basically misinformation which which led to all this. But nobody knew what this whole thing was all about. So when they saw it, in fact, some of the candid um, remarks that we got from people who would uh, seen it was, why is it going through this problem? Because nobody could understand why. So they had to look at it a little deeper and said, maybe this, maybe that. So it, that is probably the reason why it took so long for the whole thing to uh, How do you out. feel the film is running all over South? That's it's really doing extremely well and we're, we're very happy that uh, it's being received very well because um, despite all these problems, people are coming there, looking at the film, maybe coming with a little apprehension but going out very happy. In fact, we've uh, been to a lot of centers in the South where um, people are very happy when they come out of the film and some of them have asked us this question, why all this... Uh, who ha about this, you know, censored and this and that, and it's a, it's a clean love story. But you have some problems with Hyderabad. Hyderabad is not a problem in that sense. It, they have, they have had a report or two from people, and they're just playing it a little safe because Hyderabad is um, has been a trouble spot. So uh, the government wants to play it safe. Probably tomorrow or day after they'll be back on the air. What is your personal experience with the making of the film, the releasing of it? I mean. So as far as the making is concerned, it's been very satisfying because you're working with a team of professionals. But the release has already been reported, so we have gone through trouble, but at the end of it, now that the film has released and is doing well, the, it just leaves a little bit of tiredness behind. I'm, I'm very happy here. Would you rate it as a box office hit? Well, that's not up to me. That's up to people who are watching it. Okay.